In April of 1696, a group of Armenian merchants in the city of Surat, India, hired a 350-ton vessel called the Kedar Merchant. The crew loaded the ship with cotton and departed from Surat, traveled around the tip of India and reached Bengal in late 1697. There, the Armenian merchants sold their cotton for a variety of cloths, bags of sugar, bales of raw silk, chests of opium, and other items. The group then applied to the French East India Company for a safe passage, which was granted, and the ship began its return journey around the tip of India. During this time, a Scottish privateer, Captain William Kidd, was commissioned by several English lords to capture any enemy and pirate ships. His mission was to seize all loot and return to England to split the treasure among himself, his crew, and the Lord Investors. On January 30th of 1698, Captain Kidd spotted the Kedah merchant near Cochin and raced to catch up with it aboard his ship, the Adventure Galley. About four hours later, he caught up with the Kedah and hoisted a French flag on his own ship. Upon seeing the French flag, the Kedah's captain John Wright hoisted his own French flag and sent over one of his French officers who showed Kidd the Kedah's French pass. Kidd then boarded the vessel and showed the captain his English letter of marque authorizing him to seize French ships, and so he confiscated the vessel. Upon seeing this, the French officer reportedly replied, here is a good prize. At this point, one of the merchants traveling on the ship confronted Captain Kidd and offered him 20,000 rupees to set the ship free. This was about 5% of the cargo's value. Captain Wright also informed him that an agent for the English East India Company had brokered their voyage. Kidd, acknowledging that looting this ship could raise concerns back in England, decided that the crew would vote whether to take the ship and its cargo or sell it back to the Armenians. The crew voted to keep the ship and Kidd did not fight the vote, knowing that this was a legal capture. What Kidd didn't know, however, was hundreds of bales below the deck belonged to a nobleman connected to the Grand Mughal, ruler of the Mughal Empire of India. See, at the time, Armenians weren't just trading a few peanuts, but in fact had established a vast trade network stretching from London, Amsterdam, Cadiz, all the way to India, China and Manila. It seems to have been common practice for East India Company officials to occasionally use Armenian-owned ships flying Armenian flags as a cover for trades they were not legally allowed to make. For example, it was forbidden for the English to trade with Manila, whereas no such restrictions existed for Armenian ships. Captain Kidd took the Kedah to the nearby port of Quillon, where he sold some of its cargo and then he sailed it to Madagascar, a famous pirate outpost in the Indian Ocean. His own ship, the Adventure, was badly leaking, so he deemed it was unable to make the long journey back to North America. So he refitted the Kedah and renamed it to the Adventure Prize. Kidd wanted to return to New York to share the treasure with the governor and then on to England to pay off his backers. Despite this, he seemed to have avoided major shipping ports, fearing the ship was too stolen looking. See, when news of the Kedah's capture reached Surat, an Armenian merchant who had a stake in the cargo had immediately gone to Delhi to complain to the emperor. He made the case that this was done by an English ship, manned by English sailors, operating under English orders with blessings from the East India Company. Anti-English piracy tensions had been rising for some time, and the capture of this ship may have just tipped the scale against the East India Company. Because after another 10 months of sailing, Captain Kidd anchored his vessel along the coast of Anguilla, where he first learned that he was now a wanted pirate, with many governors having orders to arrest him and his crew. Captain Kidd decided his best plan was to sail to New York and convince one of his backers, Governor Bellamont, who had influential connections in New York, that he served honorably and that the stories of his piracy were not true. But to do that, he needed a new ship, one that was, you know, slightly less stolen from Armenian merchants. One day, with help from a passing merchant named Henry Bolton, Kidd was able to sell some of his treasure for provisions and enough money to buy Bolton's sloop. 
He authorized Mr. Bolton to stay and guard the Kadam merchant, which was now in a lagoon on the small island of St. Catalina. Kidd also authorized Bolton to sell more of the cargo if he was able to get a good deal. He promised to return in three months, and whatever merchandise was sold, the shares would be divided then. Now remember, this here ship is vital to prove my innocence and save my life, so it is imperative that you do not lose its treasures, or do something stupid like set fire to it and sink it somewhere so no one can ever find it. And so, with a new sloop and a desperate plan, Kid set off to New York. Upon arrival, he was immediately arrested. Of course, he would not reveal the exact location of the ship, believing that the treasure aboard the ship could be used as collateral to free him. Unfortunately for him, shortly after a sloop arrived in New York from the Caribbean, carrying news that the merchants aboard the Kedah had sold off most of the goods, set fire to the ship, and left to sail to Holland. After hearing this news, Governor Bellamont sent ships to the Caribbean to verify that the ship was indeed burned and attempt to reclaim the cargo from the local governments. They found local records confirming that the men Kidd entrusted with his ship reportedly looted it then set it blaze, but they were not able to find the wreckage anywhere. Following this, Captain Kidd was sent to trial in London, where he persistently argued that the Kedah's capture did not constitute piracy. Since the ship was traveling with a French pass and Kidd was technically authorized to take French vessels at the time when England and France were at war. But when the court asked to see this French pass as proof, Kidd was unable to find it, and so he was found guilty of piracy among other things, and subsequently executed by hanging. Over 200 years later, in 1910, the same French past that could have proved his innocence was found by an American researcher in the public records office where it had been misfiled. Misfiled! As for the ship, the Kera merchant is an important symbol of Armenian mercantile and commercial history because its discovery would shed light on the history of these 17th century Armenian merchants and the considerable influence they had on international trade by both land and sea at the start of the modern era and on global history during a crucial period as well. One day in 2007, a local resident of Catalina Island discovered the remains of a shipwreck 70 feet off the coast. At first, archaeologists were skeptical that a ship that was so sought after by treasure hunters over the centuries could be so close to the coast. But sure enough, thanks to historical records and cannons found in the wreckage, we now know that this was indeed the remains of the Kedar merchant. Today, a museum commemorating Captain William Kidd and the Kedar is open where it was found. And if you ever happen to be in the area, you can go snorkeling and see this piece of history yourself that through the centuries and until recently was lost to the sea.